Hello everybody, Tanisha here coming to you guys in the closet where I store Bear's homeschool curriculum. So let's go ahead and jump right into what we are doing for sixth grade this year. Um, we are continuing on with Creation to Greeks. I know you guys get so sick and tired of me taking two years to go through the programs, but what happens is guys, I get so much stuff to review and since my father's world is a box curriculum that we can pick up and we can put down. It's so much easier for me to stop using that for a week or two or a month and get into something else. So here we have the readers from Creation of the Greeks that we will be continuing on this year. As well as down here, there are some more books. These are all Creation to Greeks um, books, Journey Through the Bible, which is my favorite for his um, biblical history. And he really likes the um, civilization book as well. So for science here, we're going to be using the Apology of General Science. You guys have already seen that video. Again, if not, check below um, the description area as well as the pinned comment where you will be able to see um, everything that I have for the cool kids for this year. All right. It will be in a pinned comment and I will add the videos every week to show you what we're doing. So for our writing curriculum, we will be doing jump in. And this is a middle school composition um, curriculum. I'm not sure if we're going to do the one year approach or the two year approach, but we have the opportunity to do either. You can also break this down into three years. Totally up to you. We also have the worldly wise. And if you want a review on that, a video review on that, I already written a review. But if you want a video review on that, let me know. We'll be using worldly wise as part of his vocabulary, along with the English from the roots up that he loves he loves, loves, loves English from the Roots Up, so we'll definitely continue using that as well. Down here, we just have the subject notebooks. Um, This, I'm not sure if we're going to be using it. I snagged this on clearance from Mardell when they had, like, extra off their clearance. This book was maybe, like, three bucks. And it's differentiated lessons and assessments for science. Um, I like it because it has the, the testing and the benchmarks and all that good stuff. So we may or may not use this. But if we don't use it, guess who can use it? My other children can use it. Um, I also have this here because I wanted to start doing spelling with him. And this has every word that you can use from 0 to 12th grade. So I might incorporate that. I pull it sometimes. Sometimes we use it. Sometimes we don't. But since we have vocabulary, I'll probably use that for his spelling this year. Um, so now let's go into here. This is another book I snagged from Mardell for clearance. Super cheap. And this is a grammar book. And this has flashcards and all sorts of stuff. We'll be using this in conjunction with another grammar program we already used. And I'll make a separate video detailing that. Okay. Um, we have this in 7th grade enrichment math. This was something else, again, snagged on clearance and kept it. I also have the math 6B, but I doubt we will be using any of the primary math stuff this year because we will be using CTC math for his curriculum, and then I'll just be coming through and doing anything I need to do as far as um, enhanced teaching because he still likes to have instruction time with me, so I don't like to let the computer teach him everything. Um, he's not a fan of that, and it just won't work in our homeschool. He's so used to me being there. We have our student sheets for apologia, so let's see what's up here. Okay, yeah. Music appreciation. You guys have seen my ZZOC publishing video. Um, so this is our music appreciation. This will be one of his electives that he will be doing for this entire school year. And I am letting him write in this book. This is not something that I will be saving for the other children. Um, not, not because I don't want to, but a lot of times... They update programs, and there's such a big age gap from Bam Bam to Bear that I'm no longer going to be keeping things um, that I know that they might update over the years. So, my yes, he's writing in this, and this is solely his, and I will probably split this up over um, two years. This will be sixth and seventh grade. All righty. So, here... We have the next two books for The Secret of the Hidden Scrolls. We'll be having a video review going up on those very, very soon. He really likes that. We have every single book, and we're grateful for that. So now let's get into what we'll be using for math outside of CTC math. I wanted to focus with him on his Kingdom Code, because um, we'll be doing Kingdom Code as well this year. And I wanted to focus with him on his entrepreneurship and ensuring that he understands that math is not just learning about, you know, axis and radius and polygons. 
Math is also learning about checkbooks and understanding credit and interest rates and things of that nature. So we have bank account math and checkbook math. And um, there is a couple of other versions of these books as well. I think there's like credit card math and other stuff. So we'll be getting all of those. Um, here we have the Spectrum Word prog Problems. And these books right here, this whole drawer is from ChristianBook.com. And if it's not from Christian Book, then it is from Amazon. Whichever one was cheaper is where I ordered it from. A lot of times Christian book is the cheapest, but sometimes Amazon will slide in through there, but I'll let you know what I got from where. So this is Spectrum Word Problems, and this is for seventh grade. My son is in sixth grade for most subjects, but for English, he is in eighth grade and early ninth grade. So this is the Skill Sharpener's Geography. I snagged this one from Amazon, and it happened to be $6 one day. Don't ask me why. I just thank the Lord, and I grabbed it, okay? Um, I like that the Spectrum book has these that go from 6th to 8th grade because you can use them for multiple years. So we have our data analysis and probability that we'll use over the next couple of years. And then, of course, our language arts 8th grade that we will be using over the next year or two. Um, algebra, of course, you can use this. And then another geography book that I'll be pairing with the first one you just saw. Measurement also goes for a couple of years. And then we have spelling here. That's why I was saying I didn't know if I was going to use his vocabulary words for spelling or this spectrum spelling for spelling. I'm still trying to decide that. Um, but we have not included spelling into his daily stuff yet. We'll start that next week. So I have the rest of this week to decide. Because you guys know I'm recording these videos on September 17th and they will be going up for the next month. Um, once or twice a week. So, yes, we did not get started with school. We did a very soft open with school. And um, we did not get started fully with school until the middle of September. So, here we have a math. This right here was $5 on Amazon. As was is it this reading book. No, this spelling book was $5 on Amazon, too. That's why I grabbed this, because I wasn't going to grab it. That's why. So, yes, I have it, but it was only because it ended up being like 5 or $6 on Amazon for one day. And I don't know why. I just grabbed it, you know, because it was $5. So, then we have our Spectrum reading as well. I really like Spectrum books. Again, these Spectrum books are not something that I um, make copies of. I let my children write in them because... Guess what? They're going to update them, guys. These Spectrum books get updated every several years as the nation's education stuff gets updated. And so I let them write in them. And if not, you can always buy the version that you would like to purchase. All righty. So that's pretty much it other than the Kingdom Code. So with Kingdom Code, we will actually be doing a week-by-week -week detailed look at Kingdom Code. So that's why I'm not going to include any more of that in this video. Over. All right, guys, so that's it we have for Bear for sixth grade. We will be doing our Creation to Greeks, continuing that, finishing that this year. We'll be hitting up some worldly wise, making sure we get into that vocabulary real good. Our Bible history, our music appreciation course from Zizok Publishing. All that will be below as well as several books from ChristianBook.com and Amazon. Mostly Spectrum books as well as some of the Evan Moore Publishing books that we love so much. And a lot, a lot of reading. We love to read. We love to read. But that's all we have for you guys. Oh, and one more thing. I wanted to show you guys this devotional, um, some of the Bible stuff we'll be doing. I'll, I'll make a separate video on that. But real quick, I did want to include this devotional in his video because we are definitely going to be focusing on this for um, the first part of our school year, the first half. And this is 90 devotionals coming from the book of Matthew. One thing that my son said is he wants to start memorizing whole books of the Bible. I'm not sure if we'll memorize all of Matthew, but I definitely want him to focus on some chapters. So stay tuned for more information about that in the Bible video. But that's all I have for you guys. And I hope that you enjoyed Bear's sixth grade homeschooling curriculum. Um, again, look forward to some updates throughout the year as well as a homeschool wrap up. Still have more details about what we're using and what we're using and how we're using it. And if any changes have been made, don't forget to check out the pinned comment. There you'll find a link to the blog post for this um section and i'll be showing you all the curriculum the cool kids are using for this school year and you can also check in the description area below for more information guys and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are enjoying everything that i'm showing you and please subscribe to the blog as well so i can keep you updated on what we got going on thank you so much for tuning in happy homeschooling